their numbers prove Trump really is draining the swamp. Of all of President Trump's campaign promises, one of the most oft-repeated was his pledge to drain the swamp, his euphemism for the ever-expanding centralized power of the federal government. So, how well is he doing at the end of his first calendar year as chief executive? Well, much to the consternation of the Washington Post, pretty darn well. Nearly a year into his takeover of Washington, President Trump has made a significant down payment on his campaign pledge to shrink the federal bureaucracy. A shift long sought by conservatives that could eventually bring the workforce down to levels not seen in decades. The Post reported Saturday, by the end of September, all cabinet departments except Homeland Security, Veterans Affairs and Interior had fewer permanent staff than when Trump took office in January, with most shedding many hundreds of employees. According to an analysis of federal personnel data by the Washington Post, the diminishing federal footprint comes after Trump promised in last year's campaign to cut so much your head will spin, and it reverses a boost in hiring under President Barack Obama, the report a DDED. The falloff has been driven by an exodus of civil servants, a diminished core of political appointees and an effective hiring freeze. While the federal workforce declined during the 1990s, it steadily grew under both the George W. Bush and Obama presidencies, according to federal data, reaching a high of 2.14 million in 2011. Since then, it's waxed and waned but hasn't declined significantly. And, as for the most important federal employees, those Trump has nominated to fill jobs that require confirmation by the Senate, only 240 of 624 of the potential appointees have been confirmed thus far. While senatorial for dragging is partially to blame, the president himself has said he doesn't consider such appointees important to his vision. I tell my people, where you don't need to fill slots, don't fill them, the president said during an interview with Laura Ingraham back in November. This means that at the Labor Department, a lot of top political positions are unfilled. The Post notes with some implied degree of horror that oh, their agencies have been virtually paralyzed without political appointees. The Small Merit Systems Protection Board, which considers appeals from federal employees who believe they were unfairly fired or demoted, has not heard a case in 11 months. The Post noted, and for those with a job, accountability has increased. For those inside the bureaucracy, a new Trump-era focus on accountability has meant working under greater oversight and in some cases fear of reprisals. The Post noted, Agencies have told employees that they should no longer count on getting glowing reviews in the performance appraisals, according to staff in multiple offices, as has been the case for years. Wait, so not getting a glowing performance review counts as a reprisal to the folks at the WAPO? No wonder the swamp needed to be drained. These are adults counting on federalized participation trophies as part of their job. In short, Trump has had pretty good record of swamp draining, as well as promise keeping for a first year president reducing a federal bureaucracy that was in desperate need of trimming and introducing accountability to boot. That's not only keeping his promise to the American people, a reduced bureaucracy is also going to dramatically aid economic recovery by introducing less interference from unelected bureaucrats into it to the private sector and the fact that it induces hand-wringing in the folks at the Washington Post and elsewhere in the mainstream media firmament makes it all the sweeter.